And then Q3, this is like your first public launch. So if you started in March now, this would put you, I don't know, seven months from now would be like when you would start your, this would be November. I don't know. It would be seven months from now that you would start really working on the larger public launch. And what's a public launch? Like, I feel like I said earlier, launch sometimes can be a little bit overwhelming. The way I look at what a launch is, it's just a cluster of visibility points within a short period of time. So you just do a bunch of stuff around the same time that will give you a boost. And then you capitalize on that by inviting people into your community. So the public launch can include email touch points, some kind of live event, social media strategy, whatever you do on social media, and also partnerships, like I mentioned. And so again, like in the connect phase of your cycle, this is about you like picking a marketing channel and like going a little bit bigger. So last time we were just talking about partnerships and talking to people who you can access their audience. This is about, okay, was that the right main marketing channel for me? I always recommend picking just one marketing channel if you can, and then testing that. It's always going to be a test. So it, you might say, oh, I really, I love Instagram. Let me like really try for this cycle to go hard on Instagram and see if that gives me the results that I want. Or it can be like, I'm only going to go on a bunch of podcasts and that's my one marketing channel or post on LinkedIn or whatever that is for you. The second month, again, because it's super important in order for you to get to every quarter, be increasing the amount that you're making from your community, you have to have your systems really tight. So at this point, it's time to start writing your SOPs and building a system that you can repeat. So you're taking what you learned from the soft launch and you're applying it to this one and you're seeing what else you need to add in order to go a little bit bigger for the first official launch. And then in the ninth month, you're hosting a public event and like officially launching and inviting people into the community. So this is another example of a community in BACB. In, in Zach's case, it's a city, it's Canada in tech or something. It's tech careers in Canada. And they went from, they had a free Slack community and they switched to paid after doing these like small trials with people from the free community into the paid. They also did like a free trial for everyone in the community so they can get like a sense of what the paid experience would be. And they use the people who were in the free community who were already getting value from the community as a way to reach more people. And the fact that they were launching the paid community, they did a bunch of stuff around that. So at this point, this is a few months ago. So at this point, they're at 2K monthly recurring revenue on the community. And it's like one of the most engaged communities and moving from free to paid has really increased engagement in within the community. The people are very invested in what they're doing and people tend to stick around and become mentors in the community. It's a really good kind of story and case study to learn from. I'm going to write about them soon.